Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Mutant. To get this gun, you will need the Guns, Love, and Tentacles DLC. And the enemy you'll want to farm is Fungal Gorger, and he can be found over at Kankerwood. So yeah, let's head over and get the gun. Okay, so what you want to do is head over to Kankerwood, and we're going to head all the way to the other side of the map. And now, it is quite the run, um, so be prepared for that, but we're going to be heading right over here. On your way over, be sure to hit this save right here, so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn right there. And it's going to make it a much shorter walk over to the enemy. So what I like to do is ignore all the enemies because they do slow you down. And now I do want to point out this guy is a rare spawn. So, you know, he might not be there when you get there. And if he's not, go ahead and save quit and try again. So first run, we did not get him. Nope. So we're going to go ahead and save quit and try again. Also, you do get a chest here, which is kind of nice. Hey, there he is. Bungle Gorger. So let's go ahead and take him out. Oh, did we get it? So it does seem like these rare enemies have a really high chance to drop the legendary. So even though they're a rare spawn, it seems like farming this won't be too bad. Anyways, we have the Gatling Cunning Mutant. Damage, pretty good. Accuracy, also good. Handling, fantastic. Reload time, not bad. Fire rate, pretty fast. And mag size, 23. Red text is super unnatural. Bonus, weapon damage, weapon fire rate, weapon accuracy, weapon reload speed, and 1.7 times weapon zoom. This one is anointed, but we're not going to activate that ability for the testing. Also, I have farmed a few of these, and as far as I can tell, it only comes in no element form. Alright, so the gun looks very odd. Uh, it's got your alien barrel, so pretty creepy. And the eyes blink too, wait for it. We gotta see it once, there it is. Also, the weapon is green, so the colors clash pretty hard. I think I like it. The gun looks like a mutant, and I think they pulled it off. So this weapon is a fully auto Jacobs and it kind of shoots a laser beam as you can see here. Um, it shoots very similar to the way the Gatling gun shoots or even the uh, Rowan's Call. Um, unlike the Rowan's Call, it doesn't actually regen ammo on crits. Also, this weapon does have a lot of recoil. You can see here when I shoot it. Yeah, it really picks up if I pull that down. It will actually kind of rock up and down too, which is, you know, pretty hard to use. So it's going to take a little bit of practice. It's kind of odd to see that because the handling and accuracy isn't all that bad. Alright, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. Let's go ahead and jump down. And now, you can see when I hit a critical hit, it will create a red line. And that's going to be the ricocheting bullet towards other enemies. Uh, the bullet ricochet is a normal gimmick with a, a lot of Jacobs. And as far as I can tell, it's not really doing much more than that. So basically, this weapon feels like the legendary Jacob Scatling gun. Um, except for the fact that it doesn't increase your fire rate as you shoot it. Man, this gun does have a lot of recoil too, so you have to pull down your aim quite a bit. But other than that, I mean, the damage doesn't seem all that bad. So we can visually see it going to the left side, killing the other guy. Let's see how weak he is. And he's almost dead. Alright. Final thoughts on the Mutant. It is not a bad gun. While it does feel like an exact copy of the legendary Gatling gun, it still performs pretty well. As for my complaints, this gun has a lot of recoil. So keeping your shots on critical hits can be a little bit difficult. Overall, it's not a bad mobbing gun. And yeah, I would say pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.